How do you know if you need trace minerals added to your supplement regimen? Well, first things first is, I think, education. Trace minerals is something that not a lot of people think about. They've been missing from our foods for a really long time. Uh, Dr. Whiting has spoke about this in many places I've seen actually all around the world. And I have Dr. Whiting here to kind of fill in some blanks on educating you, the public, about trace minerals. The product, best trace minerals, prehistoric, plant-based, colloidal trace minerals have changed my life and changed a lot of people's life that I know that I've turned on to it. And so let Dr. Whiting just tell you about a little bit about why trace minerals are so important and why many, many people should add them to their supplement regimen. Well, first of all, the micro trace minerals make up the largest group of nutrients. There are at least 50 that have been identified as having biological or biochemical uh, activity within the body. Okay. And a hundred years ago, this was not a big problem, but uh, changes in farming and agriculture have created an Im immense, a massive deficit of these trace elements. You see, when you plant something in a field, on a farm, the plant draws out nutrients, uh, including these micro trace elements. And modern farming techniques uh, developed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for the express purpose of increasing uh, yield per acre so more food could be raised on a smaller piece of land, etc. They developed what was called the NPK uh, philosophy of uh, fertilization or farming. NPK stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash or potassium. And so they found by adding these three minerals in varying ratios, depending on what was to be grown, uh, they could increase the yield immensely and they could shorten uh, the growing season, which means that in many parts of the country, the farmer could get in a second or third crop, uh, increasing yield even further. Maximize profit. But in the process, uh, nobody ever thought to replace these micro trace elements. And so uh, every growing season, the plants suck these out. We replace three, sometimes four uh, elements. And we do this year after year, season after season. And it didn't take very long before these micro trace elements uh, were very uh, deficient or missing altogether. Yeah. So let's talk for a moment about why this is a problem. These micro trace elements are what we call catalysts. Catalysts are substances that enhance or cause something else to happen. For example, uh, vitamins. Uh, the majority of functions of vitamins in the body require certain trace elements as catalysts to make them happen. Hmm. And this goes back to my old philosophy of synergy or concept of totality. You need all of these nutrients because they work together like members of an orchestra. Yeah. You can't just take half of them out and, and the thing is going to work as well. Uh, it doesn't happen. And so uh, the only real way uh, to get these micro trace elements is to farm your own land and replace the minerals every growing season or take an organic based colloidal trace mineral supplement that yields uh, all of the full spectrum of these micro trace elements. Yeah. And it, 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 it's the incredible thing that I think about trace minerals that I don't think a lot of people think about is 
their ability to help the the recovery of muscles, joints, tissues, ligaments, and stuff like that. Can you can you talk a little bit about that? About how that works? All minerals, uh, all of them, but especially the micro trace elements, uh, are bioelectrical or electrical in nature. Yeah, the human body's electric. The human body generates one and a half volts of electricity. And that's like your heart, right? Heart, nervous system, brain yeah. function. Yeah. And it is able to do that through the interaction of minerals, specifically electrolytes, uh, across an aqueous or water medium, which is the body's 70% water. And the electrolytes are what? They're, they're... Calcium, magnesium, chloride, Got it. Um, there are several. Well, all of these micro trace elements, uh, but especially the electrolytes, uh, have the ability of enhancing the body's electrical potential. And this can easily be illustrated, and I haven't, I haven't done this experiment in many years, but one of these days uh, I should do that and we put it on film for you. Yeah, it's, we'll do it. it's very fascinating. Uh, you can illustrate perfectly well how these trace elements can conduct electricity from one cell to another. And so much so that you can light a, a massive light bulb yeah. with nothing more than these elements. It's fascinating. So when you're talking about healing, let's say you twist your ankle. The thing swells on twice the size. Um, so you got two problems. Well, you got three problems. You got pain, you got inflammation, and you've got damaged tissue that needs to heal and repair. And the trace minerals as the electrical charge help to, to that sprained ankle to recover quicker. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, in uh, many years ago, uh, Dr. Robert Becker at the University Hospital of New York mm. demonstrated that if he put a direct, very low impedance, so it wasn't shocking, you couldn't even feel it, uh, but a very high voltage, low impedance um, electrical charge through a broken bone, he could heal it 40% faster. Wow. And this is just one example of when we say that the human body is a bioelectrical organism, uh, you couldn't describe it more accurately, really. And all of this bioelectrical activity is dependent one way or the other on mineralization of the tissues of the body. Yeah. And so when you talk to somebody, is it really, is it every, is it really that everyone kind of needs trace minerals um, since they're not getting them from the food? Really, everyone should be in, in, in kind of, in my opinion, everyone should be taking a trace mineral supplement. But of course, when you're young, when you're 20, 25, maybe even up to 30, I don't really know when to, to, to tell somebody like when they should try it and give it a try and see if that will make a difference in their life. What do you think is the right age to at least try and see if it makes a difference in your, in your life. Cause you know, obviously not everybody, you can't, you know, you can't make a blanket statement and say everyone needs trace minerals, but what age do you think it's appropriate to suggest, Hey, you could try this and it might give you some type of benefit. What do you think is the right age? Um, well, first and foremost, uh, youth is the, uh, great illusion of invincibility. Well, yeah. And uh, what youth doesn't understand, because they can perform, they can rapidly recover, etc. They don't understand that they're building for themselves a foundation of potential problems down the road. But certainly, uh, after the age of 35 or 40, uh, if you haven't done so by then, uh, you certainly should be using a full spectrum product that includes uh, these micro elements. I feel that they're so important that when I developed uh, my high vitality liquid, I put them in a base of these colloidal minerals mm. because I feel so strongly uh, about the potential negative effects of their absence in our life. Yeah. 
And I mean, I've heard the incredible success stories about how uh, trace minerals have been used to help the recovery of the of the bones um, in accidents, the recovery of the joints, ligaments. I've had personal experience. I've had friends that have experienced being at Phoenix Nutritionals for 21 years. I've heard stories that would just blow your mind. But as far as the those extreme stories of recovery and 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 getting back to what you once had after let's say a, a minor or major accident what other benefits of trace minerals are there like for example i've had some people say better well being better feeling of well-being i've had people say um uh, stronger nails i've had people say it, it seems like my hair is 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 a little bit more uh uh uh, shinier, you know, if you will, you know, if, uh, that's kind of a weird way to, to express it. But what are the other things besides the extremes that minerals help to do for the body? Well, I think we have to understand that the micro trace elements are catalysts for all other nutrients. Okay, so that's kind of where it's so, start. in other words, if you're missing these trace minerals you're also not getting the full benefit from vitamins. If you're missing these trace minerals, you're not getting uh, full benefits from phytonutrients, for example, because they all work in concert together. And so that kind of, uh, I think, it can illustrate what happens is, I, I often refer to these micro trace elements as the foundation of the human body. Yeah. Not only structurally, because clearly uh, the human body structurally is made up of mineral, but chemically as well, because thousands of chemical interactions are taking place because of the electrical circuitry of the body. So when the body is in balance and its energy levels are at optimal levels, you're going to get stronger nails, you're going to get stronger bones, you, you're going to get healthier skin, uh, and the list goes on and on because you're going to be reflecting the sum total of optimal nutrition. So when you say catalyst, you, you also kind of are insinuating absorption for all the vitamins to help that, right? Oh yes, absorption yeah. is also a part of that, yeah. uh, especially if these trace elements are uh, suspended in what we call an aqueous medium or, or in, a, in a fluid or water, um, that activates them tenfold. Yeah, and I think to everyone out there listening, I think it's really easy to try something like that just to get one bottle of a trace mineral just to see. Um, I know that you've taught, uh, you've, you've, you've talked about things over the years where, you know, vitamins need to be taken for a couple months to see a difference. And I completely agree with that, especially for more targeted um, formulas. But for something like minerals, I actually think, and I don't know what your opinion is on it, but I actually think one bottle, sometimes people are able to see a difference. And I think at that price of, let's say it's 40 bucks or 45 bucks to buy one bottle of minerals, I think that's a good way to just Try it. Don't, don't you agree with that? Or Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Um, the, the best benefits you can get, uh, again, is, is going back to optimal wellness with the full spectrum. Yeah. And uh, I believe you guys offer uh, a, a specially priced kit where they can get the full spectrum plus the trace minerals. Yeah. Uh, you can get both formulas together in one at a uh, significant discount. So yeah. that would be the best way to go. Yeah, and that's and that's most of the people that are on our subscriptions, which are incredible because you save so much money. Our subscriptions, usually the people have the, the bottle of high vitality liquid with the best trace minerals or the high vitality caps with the trace minerals. So yeah, you're right. I mean, a lot of people already know and me being here 21 years that I've, I've seen that that's what the majority of people in the know do. Um, so yeah, so thank you for your time. Um, it, it's pretty much, would, would you say 3540 guarantee you should try minerals? Yeah, especially if you hadn't, if you, if you followed the, 
the illusionary pathway of invincibility of youth, uh, you probably uh, beat yourself up enough by the time you're 35 or 40 uh, that you should start strongly considering uh, repair and maintenance. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. And um, you can try it out. There'll be a link below. You can find it and try one bottle of Best Trace Minerals. Who knows what it could do? It could it could really enhance your life and, and uh, add to your uh, add to health benefits you didn't know were even possible.